This character has come such a long way. Like, and I'm just going to skip down to the most egregious part of his kit. Like, by far, I'm, I'm just skipping down to it. Because this is the second recording. I don't think, I, like, I'm not going to be able to do this react. Like, okay. He is one of the worst person to level. In the first recording, I literally almost dry heaved and am glad I did not make breakfast yet. This is horrendous. If you try leveling him out of a lotto, you are burning so much of your math. You like there are some really cool setups you can do with Hijikata. Uh but you need these to really do those setups. This ain't much better. Less 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 headache. Just as annoying though. And you could tell this was gonna happen based on what he was ascending. Unfortunate. Alright. First off, Hijikata. Especially this ascent ascension. This guy looks awesome. Literally has a giant fucking musket like as big as his sword and he's basically uh wielding both as efficiently as possible like berserker of bakumatsu like he will run at you you will keep shooting him and he will not stop he's all like he will keep running like literally like bullet wound to the face and he's just gonna shoot you in the fucking face and then cut you in half and then he'll die. He's not dying until after you're already dead. That is Hijikata. All right, let's get started. I know Miss loves Hijikata. Like he's a big stand for Hijikata. And this is not also not the most impressive part of his kit. He counts ear could use some work like this is these are okay like i don't like i don't even think this is this bad of a deal anymore like if his base gain like mp charge is 1.08 like even three hits he'll be regening like more than other units normally would like i think zenobia with her 0.47 like they even out no like yeah he would have better gains on the extra attack than her so yes low hits on the extra attack isn't good but if you're not critting it doesn't and your base gain is like actually really good doesn't matter as much he, like yes he's someone i thought would need hit count changes but like in hindsight like doesn't need them that much compared to like uh waiver that has one hit arts cards like he he doesn't read he doesn't get his mp back unless your arts chain you cannot count on his arts cards to get him back to mp Hijikata, like he's supposed to be critting he's going to refund sergeant is berserker so don't expect much but, i mean he has okay quick cards they're not again they're not great but he has them First skill is terrible, and the only reason they haven't buffed this yet is because they're going to make it probably his most explosive buff. They are going to seriously ramp up, uh, hopefully, the buster performance. Make that, like... Like, honestly, if they make it so, like, he gives himself a 30% buster and this is changed to 100, I think that's all you really need to do. I don't think he needs, like, a crazy, like, attack buff. I mean, it would be real. You know what? It would be amazing, like, if they made um, an attack buff that scales with match HP two. Not going up to a hundred, but like twenty, and then it like based on max HP can go up to fifty. Like that would be a significant damage boost for him. Uh, because a it's his play style. Like you're not changing anything about him. B, it's way more damage, and C, like, he's not fully focused on Buster. Like, I thought about it, 
especially after the last take of this and like he doesn't need more buster he needs attack bitch doesn't give him attack oberon doesn't give an attack and merlin gives him a small attack buff but he's a buster farmer he wants to be double stacking well no sorry he's not a buster farmer he can do it now but even just based on his kit that's not going to be his best role like other buster units that have batteries could do the same thing and probably do it better than him because they be double stacking a little more like his mp damage is going to go up as you go through the his farming situation like the damage will go up because of his uh mp overcharge but it's not like it it's not as impactful as other units that are actually able to double stack it. This by default, like you do not see star gen buff and you don't uh, anymore, especially not this slow. If you see star gen buffs, they're usually at least 50% to 100% on match rate, usually, because that's what will actually impact it. 20% star gen, even if it's for the party, isn't going to be noticeable. It really isn't unless you're using him with like no you wouldn't like even scotties aren't genning stars like that like maybe ruler is but like ruler also has uh a quick mp that actually will gen stars uh speaking of that because he is double buster double quick you could actually use ruler scotty with him to clean up some of uh his quick cards and make them closer to what his buster cards will be with itch do I, am I saying that's something you need to do? No, it's just something that works for him. He does have double buster, double quick and not a straight uh, triple buster deck. Just, just food for thought. Second skill was his worst. This was horrible for him. The cleanse, sure, that was good. That kept him alive from getting uh, dotted to death. This part though? Him healing is a con for him. He wants his HP low. This was to keep him alive, but he wants to be on the brink of death. He wants to be that low. So. <sighs> okay. The buff helps a lot though. Guts one time, three turns. Revised with the eight, one HP stackable with other guts. This gets him one HP. This is where he wants to be. This is where he has the most power from his buffs. And the reason it's stackable with other guts is because his Bonsi gives him a one time guts at one HP along with quick damage. They, Tucson keeps saying get Bonsi ease. It has to be for something where either this becomes passive or you can run Bonsi ease with other CEs or pops or possibly like just straight up drop the cost for them because that that also would be a factor if you because it's risky you can't put perk ce and then also give him like black rail because then the weakest part of perk is now mitigated and then he also has the three guts like I, I really just want to know what they're doing with it. The speculation is killing me. I mean, not as much as Ichikata would, because he's always uh, almost dying, but yeah, you know what I mean. Third skill. This is what was buffed, and they didn't do that much to this. It is 4,000 star weight, which is lower than what most servants get nowadays. Although this what like, Props to them for like good insight that th like it wasn't some baby 1000 star weight, which wouldn't have done much. Like this is enough to give his other cards the star weight, not just his buster cards. His quick and arts cards will actually get stars to crit on, which will help refund. Then he gets uh, more crit damage based on how low his HP is. So this is a fraction. Max HP is on the bottom current hp on the top 
Then you subtract that from one and then you multiply that by 80. What that means is if you are at full HP, this part is zero and you only get 20%. When this is one, this is basically uh, 0 0.99999, like basically one, like it's basically 100, or uh, basically one times 80, and it's like 79% extra crit damage, so like 99%. That's how you need to think about this formula if you're not that good at math. Good at math. Sorry if I've like sped through that, uh, but this is something I actually would be teaching my students at school fifth grader by the way that would be teaching of course fifth graders then he then he deals damage to himself you cannot stop this but again he wants to be low hp so this actually helps him if any like if anything along with him buffing his attack give him like hp down too then then he'll really actually be able to buster farm with uh his HP being able to drop down to 50% just with him and bitch, bitch doing their own shit. It would be nice. The buff just uh, gave him battery. So now he is able to buster farm without needing carding. But he, he's a crypt berserker. So like this kind of is a little redundant, not entirely redundant. Because you don't need to MP every single turn if you're using crit servants, especially buster crit servants. Their face cards hit like MPs. Like, tell me you have not seen a, like, a Koi and Skya do like a uh, buffed crit, do like 300,000 damage for like max level uh, units. They, like bitch crits do so much fucking damage they are as comparable as scotty quick crits 100 percent. they just don't refund as much this battery is really nice but it on it like this is just butter like you shouldn't feel you have to get mana loading for this because i truly think there are other berserkers that can do the uh buster farming role like much better i shit like i don't have the highest appraise for kentucky but he does have pierce defense which is nice to have but like damage wise like in farming like uh, if you have summer castorio like why why when like vich does not play nice with other units if you're buster farming with vich like you might not be double stacking they're probably not double stacking you can't say the same about art the arts you kind of can pick and choose like where the buffs are going especially because castori gives so much aoe buffs i think like for multi-core like castori is just a much stronger unit and is like gonna put kentoki out of a job for that for challenge quest though castori isn't passing up kentoki's role I don't like Castoria, like Pierce defense. You, you can't do that. You have to give up Black Grail to let her have Pierce defense, which that's a pretty, that's a pretty big, uh, benefit she would have over Kentucky that she could use Black Grail and he would be, your entire team would basically be Kentucky, uh, and that would be a two turn like and Kentucky can't double stack anything he's literally there for single target new uh mostly pierce defense all right back to hijikata though crit the only other berserker that deals with crits as much as him is unironically summer castoria x can make a whole bunch of stars but she doesn't have a whole lot of uh crit buffs vlad he's not he makes stars he's not really a crit berserker Galatea, it's more you make her crit by giving her, uh, buffing her up with Vich and then like making those buster cards hit A hard and then B refund a shitload of MP for her. Um, Shinpachi is burst. Like he's not a like farmer. Yeah. 
he is like i'm not gonna say the best of both world worlds but he has access to both both world worlds um in terms of crit damage and like farming potential like he can do it he's jack of all trades he, he can do both but you need set up to like make him be the best at either and he's probably not going to be the best at either passives five percent buster up cool appends now getting mana loading is helps with his farming but if you have these other options kentoki berserker castoria you're better off like letting hijikata do hijikata things and like keep them in like challenge quests it works for his kit better and you can just do cooler shit that you know um because you know what you're fighting can you use him in farming though doing some chengong shit absolutely but even then i think the chengong shit works way better in a challenge quest where you can get chengong out and oberon on the same turn because both of the bitch died i think you can see like way cooler shit if you're using him in a challenge quest than in farming like i i don't want to say he's gonna be mid but like he, he's not gonna be yeah no i am saying it. he would be mid at farming he'd like he'd be good at it because he's a berserker not because it because he's hijikata he's just not double stacking enough damage uh i actually don't know if it will show in here uh, uh I don't, yeah, I don't think this has even been updated to include him. There's just, there's just so much with Hijikata that like banks on him being in a like in a challenge quest where he's constantly getting hit that like worrying about his buster, like his farming numbers just isn't, it, it's not something you're really looking for. My opinion on that though. I think there are just servants that can do it better. All right, MP. He has no normal effect other than his damage his damage goes up the lower his hp is they buffed this mp and they kept the damage scaling the same so whether you have the mp buffed or not like the lower your hp is uh it goes up to doubling your mp damage like they technically could have kept this at 600 this it would have been disappointing it would have been very disappointing Oh. Oh. All right. And again, but that is for MP1. Uh, I'm like, I'm pretty sure it will show here that just because you have MP. Oh, damn it. Like. The higher your copies, the less it's actually doubling your damage. It's like you get the most bang for your buck if he's MP1. MP2 and higher, you have to get higher overcharge because the extra damage scales off overcharge. Now, luckily, you are able to get just higher damage by like chaining MPs. Some of those MPs you might just want to have him behind him though. Like Astoria bitches MPs because they will give him Buster. I mean, not Buster, they will give him a uh, battery afterwards. It's something you have to play around with. It's very much something you have to play with, around with. But, big example, Chang Gong. Of course, you'd want Chang Gong to go first because that will knock his HP down all the way to one. And then he'll just get more damage on his MP. There's always going to be nuance with this. He's, he is not a cookie cutter BPS slash farmer. At any point you're using him, you have to be conscious of what you're doing, what you're fighting, and is there, like, are you jumping through too many hoops for this, for something someone else can do better, or are you just trying to see big gorilla, 
uh, numbers and just your Hijikata screaming. That is up to you. I don't want to say this is someone, a unit you should be actively summoning for. Not until this gets buffed. I'm I'm waiting for to see what they do to this skill before I say something needs. Uh, before I say like he is someone you're gonna want to have. He is fun to have. Don't. He is fun to have. He's a fun servant. Is he the best servant? No. Does he need to be the best servant? No. There's nothing wrong with having someone having someone fun. Shimpachi is going to be fun. For you. Let servant. All I'm saying is let servants play to their strengths. But the game, how most people play it, his strengths are, are not something they're interested in. Don't mean a bum and out, but this was this me doing this did take a like an actual hour because first recording wasn't much longer than wasn't much longer than this. All right, I will see you guys later. I'm hungry. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.